So, about two months ago, the city kicked out 70 of my long-term guests. A lot of the rooms were left looking like this. The rooms are especially bad because we just finished up our spring COVID-19 lockdown. All of the rooms are in need of major renovation, and over the next two months, we did just that. In fact, we started a YouTube channel chronicling these endeavors. Here's the full before and after that a lot of people have asked us to make. Hope you like it. Go ahead and skip ahead to the five minute mark if you don't want to see the background about the inside of the hotel yada yada and you want to see the annex remodel we did the fun stuff the cool stuff you know the 60 day remodel asterisk sign hey guys uh my name is paul and i own an ugly motel here's the outside looking at so over the last six and a half years we've gone through and replaced portions of this hotel it made little pieces look pretty. But it hasn't stopped the fact that it's an ugly motel. Whoa, let's just pause for just a moment. Okay, the city's official uh, stance on it is cosmetics don't matter. Reality is, I've been super fixated on fixing all the mechanical stuff. I do have ADHD, not the city's problem. From the outside looking in, for everybody in Lincoln, this hotel looks like a falling down piece of garbage. I get it. Anyhow, on with the video. So, give you a quick tour of what all we've done and where we're going. An old restaurant here that we used to have open. Tried running for a little bit. After I sold it, it didn't really work out. At some point, we'll put somebody back in there. Here's a little speakeasy bar looking thing. Again, it used to be the Hopping place back in the day, I guess. I used to do comedy clubs in here when I ran the bar. But just haven't wanted to deal with finding a tenant for it. So this property used to be a holodome. It's massive, but now it's pretty much awkward. We did a small little arcade thing here. We have a massive ballroom. and no AC to speak of. <laughs> I don't know if people in the 80s were just a lot more hardy or what, but um, it also used to have a massive pool that I have spent over $30,000 trying to repair. And at this point, I'm ready just to give up on it. Um, we've gone through, we've done some minor renovations, replaced the carpet that now looks aged and ugly. We've gone through and we've painted all the uh, railings and whatnot. The most important thing we've done is we've replaced the boiler and chiller system with these PTEX, which also now add to the heat problem inside this dome because all the exhaust from the PTEC units, now well, they come out here. So long-term plan, not 100% sure for that. Got to do a lot of research. Again, you can see a lot of the stains on my carpet. I got, JCPenney went out of business, so I bought a bunch of their carpet. And unfortunately, the stains don't actually come out that easy. Um, waste of 10 grand right there. So what else do we got? We got old fashioned putt putt golf thing, which is kind of cool. We have a workout room. So I have like a pizza hut building. One of my older games, it's broken. I need to just throw it away. We got like 114 rooms, but only 70 of them are rentable. And even that is a questionable statement. The uh, the rooms have seen a lot of wear and tear, and they need to be completely renovated. Okay, so here's one of our hotel rooms. So this is one of our nicer rooms, but it's still very outdated. It's got the 1990s countertops. It's got the old fashioned, well, I guess it's got the surround thing, you know. It's got P-Tac in it, and, Microwave and stuff. It's got a lot of little things that need to happen to it. Um, and we're hoping to get all of our rooms looking nice and obviously a new paint and better curtains. Everybody hates my curtains. 
and uh, your furniture at some point here in the next few months. So, a lot of cool things coming. Um, it's got a long way to go. Okay, so a better closer look of the annex. We got this nice, like three acre piece of green space. And right behind it, we have this extremely ugly looking building. So, the thing here is it needs siding, obviously. Couldn't decide on what kind of siding I wanted to do for the longest time. The railings uh, were a, an ugly temporary fix that we wanted to do just to make sure we met code for a while. And uh, I'll be replacing those rather than trying to do that same lattice situation. We'll be replacing them with something a lot more durable, sturdy, and pretty. Um, another thing that I'll have to kind of do in steps, unfortunately, uh, just because of budgets, uh, we've been renovating these rooms, getting rid of the giant glass piece and putting in little windows. And I'm trying not to get other people's license plates in the in the uh, shot here, but. Um, yeah, so we'll be putting up a new siding on the outside, new railing, and uh, this wall hopefully will be putting up the new roof. I'm hoping it'll go sooner than that, hopefully by the end of summer. Um, the roof is uh, an issue that basically, uh, hailstorm started uh, poking uh, little holes in it this last year, and uh, yeah, it's been kind of fun since then. So Again, so this is the annex building. This will be the building we focus on for project number one, trying to make it look pretty. Again, here's my before. Um, let's see if I can do the rest of it without getting people's license plates in it. Uh, it's massive. Uh, all right, we'll hit all of our goals. We got the, uh, the new siding up. We ended up going with a, uh, a lap siding, concrete lap siding. Uh, hardy board um, obviously we painted everything patched all concrete issues replaced the railing got new roof on there which of course is the biggest part of this project um, uh, new flashing uh, the staircase will replace um, this coming spring when we replace our uh, um, exterior windows on the main building um, as far as the outside of the building yeah oh uh, security lights new security lights whatnot LED. Um, it's all stuff that we were planning on doing. Um, obviously, spinal surgery, cosmic slowdown, pandemic, cosmic slowdown, and uh, finances are always the thing. You know, I like to make sure I can finish a project uh, before we go all in. One of the nicer things of not having any tenants uh, is, you know, we're not disturbing anybody by doing stuff. So um, I guess that's kind of the silver lining here, but we knocked it all out looks pretty from the outside and uh, I guess we'll walk you through the inside now uh, we're gonna be doing some close-up stuff just to kind of show you um, a little bit more of the I guess, siding and stuff trying to build a deck during the middle of the pandemic has been kind of fun everybody's sold out of everything but isn't it pretty looks so nice and if you'd like, you can come up and even pet our siding. We've had several people come up and just touch it. And they're like, yeah, look at that. It feels sturdy. Arr. Okay, before we start the main walkthrough, I thought it'd be fun to kind of revisit some of the uh, adventures we've had along the way. I feel like morale's a huge part of keeping a project on task and getting stuff done fun and fast. Fast and fun. Just make sure you shoot. Don't the hold it. You want me to shoot it at the nipple or the arm? No nipples. <laughs> Don't hold it either. I'm not gonna hold it. Oh. 
Retarded. Did you get it? All right, so this is Annex 101. They've already started doing the drywall prep and patching, and this is our worst room by far. It's also a bigger room though, so surprisingly it's always in demand. This was already done basically in this format when uh, we bought the place. I don't know what the thought was, just, you know, no cabinets there. It's a bump out for somebody else's plumbing, so I don't know what the right answer is for that, but the room needs some texture, probably need to replace all the flooring. It's an ugly room, but we're gonna try to make it pretty. Okay, wait, wait, let's, let's stop that. Let's rewind that and I, I want to point out something. Okay, take a look at this tile. I have one person to thank for fixing all this tile and obviously one very important group of people to thank for the plumbing. Hey, what's up? I'm Jason Hansen, Lincoln Tiles guy, uh, inside our renovations also, so come check for them a lot. Um, gonna clean up the, the tile, kind of restore it. Um, replace a few broken tiles, a few that are missing. Um, and pretty much regrout it, uh, refinish it, uh, wipe it down, and make it look brand new again. And as you said, awesome. We really appreciate it. You're welcome. Plumbing's done, no. and I look old. Tradition, tradition. <laughs> okay, now back to our story and our happy Christmas special. <laughs> All right, here's apartment number two. We actually just renovated this before this chaos all started. Um, lady decided to take my uh, order down. And also those glass things uh, that go around the light. Anyhow, here's the after. New carpet, all new paint, nice new fridge, new sconces, that's what I was looking for, sconces. Uh, new border thing, obviously new vinyl. Bathrooms clean, tile repaired, looking a lot better. Pops, why are you retiring? Because I'm done with 2020. Well, this room was an eviction. It's not that bad for an eviction. Well, you can tell they had a cat snuck in. Carpet disgusting. Last time I was in here, carpet wasn't this bad. We did a walk through with Billy and Safety. Oh, this would be about a month and a half ago now, and it wasn't this bad. They obviously pulled down some tiles to make the point that they were loose. I don't know who goes around tucking into their tiles, but it is what it is. Oh. Yeah, so we got some repairs to do. This room's not that bad. Nasty carpet though. So not sure what the heck the uh, smell is actually in here, but it smells like tobacco and amine. Any of you guys that served on a sub, you <laughs> know the smell. 
Um, strange to find that in an apartment building, but. In Annex 103, or just number three now, you can tell we've repainted and we fixed the floors. Um, we've gone through and deep cleaned the paintech and it's replaced the carpet. That carpet ended up not being salvageable. Um, let's see, we've heard some tile inside the bathroom. Put up new uh, vinyl trim with some light bulbs. Still needs to be deep cleaned if I remember. Um, Plumber swapped out the, uh, the plumbing to the bathtub there. And yeah. This room's not too bad. It needs uh, some paint and some touch up and carpet. Lots of paint. in all these rooms. The trim around the windows, very farmhouse style, kind of fun. Had some character to uh, something that was built in the 80s without character. Obviously some tile patchwork. It's not as noticeable inside of like actual Persian, um, but for some reason the film actually uh, picks up the new tiles really well. So I just wanted to uh, point out that my before images sometimes are not that great. It's because I wasn't intending to actually ever really use them. I was kind of using them just for myself to review at the end of the day. So I apologize that it's kind of everywhere staring at lines in the sun that no one but me would care about. Anyhow, carry on. Hey, it's me again. Here's that same room but now in gray. New carpet and the tiles of the bathroom that was previously not so pretty is pretty. Also, I don't know if you can see that cabinet door over there. I still need to paint that cabinet. We put in a new door, which I believe Keith routed out on the router table for us. Um, so yeah. No graphic that time, haha. <laughs> no, I will pull into the next one. Um, Anyhow, I didn't really do a great job at a before of this one, so walls are already gray, carpet's on the way, lay in. Um, so the after, it's not gonna be so dramatic, but it's still kind of dramatic. So yeah, the door's painted, there's a cool number on the door, carpet's on the floor as it should be, there's trim around everywhere. Um, the trim actually takes a lot longer than you'd think. Mm, things are cleaner. Random roll of toilet paper, which I wonder which room the contractors used to go to the bathroom in. Um, let's see, refrigerator. I still hate this countertop, so let's avoid looking at it. Or no, that's the next room up. I probably don't like this countertop either. We probably should turn around and look at it then. Hey, you bought a truck, huh, Paul? Yep, yeah, pilot traded in the Prius. And how much horsepower does it have? Well, I'm not used to really measuring things in horsepower. Uh, it's about 1.14 million duck power. Haha, <laughs> see if it was worth it. Okay, Annex 201, the new number 13. Wasn't in that bad a condition. Underneath that bed is actually a hole in the, in the floor we found, uh, in the wood floor. So we'd patch that. Lots of cleaning in the bathroom. Um, there was a drywall hole we had to fix. Um, for the most part, though, um, this one wasn't that bad. I filmed this, obviously, as they were moving out. So, thank you for keeping this one nice. All you really see here in the afters, it's gray. Everything is gray. Gray vinyl, gray walls, gray floor, blue counter. Actually looks kind of nicer. Hasn't had its finish clean yet. Window, or the mirror's nasty. Second floor, I think a lot of the finish clean hasn't gotten done yet. 
Um, bathtub's really clean, so they got started. It's shiny now. If you go back and watch it again, it wasn't shiny before. Speed up. And whiplash. Alright. Looks pretty much the same. It's just been good. Can't tell, but we also repaired some little pieces here on the floor. Right there. Man, that was so slow in this, in this particular room. Obviously, they were cleaning that PTAC unit. Videos, you're like working during <laughs> working. And the red became gray. Yep. Something strange above that sink. <laughs> it's bigger than a normal 30 inch. I'm not sure what to do with that. It is my plan to at some point put another cabinet up there. Uh, hopefully, the next very soon when I find a cabinet that fits there. Yep. Looks like the other ones. Except there's a little bit of a stain and a light bulb that's out. Things are clean. Don't worry, here towards the end, it's going to get more exciting. I promise. So I figure I'd just start off today. Um, that annex building we have as our first project. Um, I decided we would check out what the uh, vacant room looks like, see what all repairs need to get done in here, and see what the last tenant left it as. Um, overall, it just needs a little bit of paint. I haven't really walked through it too much, so you're kind of seeing it as I do. Um, just a lot of garbage left behind. Unfortunately, that definitely, you know, attracts bugs and stuff and makes things harder. Um, so we got to do some cleanup. Get rid of all the garbage that was left behind. Got to do, well, that's how you get gnats and flies. I don't know. A lot of little things that need to be fixed inside the wall. What else we got in here? Got some stickers on the wall, great. Those are fun to take off. It always looks the same as it did before, doesn't it? Hmm. All right, well, I took apart my smoke detector. City doesn't like that, gotta get that one fixed. Oh, there's another one right up there, so. How's the bathroom? I'm sure they kept the rest of the house just as clean. Eh, needs some work. This property isn't my, well, okay, it used to be my favorite room. That needs some love. Although it looks like we just cleaned, we actually repainted everything because the blue was not the same match as the blue we had. And the, this room is now gray instead of green. Because everything should be gray. <laughs> um, yes, lots of cleaning. On the side note, somebody accidentally threw away all the drawers to this vanity, and we had to custom router our own new ones. That is all. Is that second half of room 203 I told you about. Turned it into another little studio. Just a little efficiency thing. It's clean. It makes sense. And now, it won't be trashed because I've diversified my risk. That door is going to go uh, bright white. Uh, turns out it needs to be a solid core door, so the one we painted we had to swap out with that. All right, we got Travis here, professional painter, 15 years, gonna help us out, get this, knock this thing out. So, uh, got anything to say to YouTube? What do you got? What do I got? Yeah, just say, just say something, just say something. I'll, I'll edit it out, it'll be fine. 
Just say, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. Rah, I'll have to bleep that. A man of so few words. This room has also gone gray. The nice vinyl fake plank floors, I don't know. Um, can't tell, but basically, uh, um, we had to rebuild all that tile in there. Nice new carpet. Pretty room. They got all the windows fixed, that's nice. Oh, this one's unlocked. Good Julie. All right. Another one we've never touched yet. Basically, our drywall is almost like a wallpaper since it's all concrete below it. So it's probably just easier just to swap it out. Oh, somebody's been sleeping. This room is gonna need some love. This is gonna be one of the harder ones to get because behind that wall, somebody's already taken out the entire drywall chunk. Most the bathroom. Again, not a room I've started. It'll be a fun one to get going. I don't know if this is the best place to uh, pay homage to somebody. Um, really good friend and a, a great contractor. Her and her husband don't like to be on video or anything like that, but they were installing our cabinets for us and um, she recently passed away and we couldn't have done this project without her and we really appreciate everything she did. My name is Travis. Painting is what I do. If you don't let me get back to work, I'll get this paint off you. This still needs painted, new mirror, tile, plumbing has been repaired. Ah, uh, this is the one that I hate the countertop at. Well, let's just avoid looking at it. It's a fake butcher block thing. We're gonna, we're gonna swap that out at some point. What the heck? We opened up one of these annex units and man, we've had a squatter or something. That or a really big mouse. Well, we got the bathrooms framed out for the plumbers. Most of them at least. You ever repaired a bunch of doors and then accidentally locked your uh, your keys inside of one of those repaired doors so well that you can't jimmy it back open? I have. Okay, so then the next question is going to be, well, Paul, why aren't you running out those annex units to continue on your projects? Well, the city thought we did such a great job with that. They wanted to incentivize us to get the main hotel done. They said, hey, if you can do that in 60 days, why don't you knock this out? So we said, okay, and that's what we're doing. So anyhow, you know, so we, uh, we got some blue paint up. Everybody likes paint and uh, we're doing some other stuff. Um, we're, we're trying to prioritize it based on the coming winter and any kind of uh, outside work we've got to do. One more thing that's changing our priorities is the, uh, New door locks are gonna be here. So, what does that mean? It means that we have to have the doors all prepared. It also means we have to stop making dust that's gonna cover our doors. It means we have to paint the doors before we put on the new fancy hardware and get paint all over that stuff. Gotta widen her up. them do the finishing touches but that looks beautiful. 
Anyhow, as I mentioned, I have ADHD, which means that I need to 100% restore and fixate on this giant crack. And uh, so we've gone through and V'd the whole thing out. We've spent the last seven days grinding it down with a walk behind grinder, seven inch grinder, uh, giant spatulas. We've gotten off about an inch and a half of old mastic and fake um, attempts at patching it. And so we're gonna get it done right. So that way this building could last another 70 years, which I'm sure that it will probably get bought out and knocked down or something nuts. But anyhow, it doesn't matter. It's gonna look like a really cool sidewalk in the end, especially when we get all this uh, uh, metal aluminum window stuff gone. Um, then we'll appreciate it and be like, yeah, it looks great. Um, also, yeah, so here's kind of a little bit of what we're dealing with uh once you start wetting down and soaping up all the uh the old mastic this is what we're scraping on i want to get all this done and everything our door locks are getting uh installed on the 7th of december so we have to be done with all this stuff don't necessarily have to have the concrete final just need to have all the dust creating stuff done same with the doors so Hopefully you appreciate this behind the scenes. If you're still here, you probably want to know what the heck we plan to do in the future. Well, besides painting things blue and making them into normal hotels, this is actually supposed to be phase two of our three-phase plan. Um, we're going to be blocking off the entire outside from the inside, so that way it's all COVID-friendly and everything. That also gives me an excuse to sit there and work on the pool and not disturb anybody because I could play with loud concrete things and obsess over that. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this catch up of what we've done so far and hopefully you believe in us enough to keep going. Whether you do or not, we're going to keep going. So join us along. Follow us on theuglymotel.com. Uh, the YouTube channel, basically if you just scroll down to the bottom of the page, it just has links to the YouTube videos. Um, follow us on Facebook. I'm, I'm trying to figure out Instagram. If you notice, I have a couple of random TikToks. For some reason, that door video thing went viral. I don't know. Um, just trying to get the word out there since everybody thinks we're just messing around, not actually doing anything. Um, figure I'd show you some behind the scenes stuff of what we're doing. You guys could follow along see all the time-staking fun stuff we're doing oh, and Merry Christmas